but I can pretty much tell you, Dad doesn't watch TV. Uh, if it's on in a room and he walks by it, it's on and he might catch one minute. If it's over in an uh, airport, maybe something's on the wall, but Dad never sat down in a chair just to watch television. He had no interest in it. Interestingly enough, he was always about working and considered TV to be a waste of time. Uh, what uh, I went through being the firstborn was a little different than uh, the ones that came after me. Of course, the family became a little more stable and things of that nature. And uh, so I know that things I remember the story of Kirk used to jog with Dad. My dad never jogged when I was growing up, but uh, that was something that Kirk and uh, Dad did quite a bit of. I, Dad worked, and when I was young, I worked with him. And I won't turn all those stories into me. We'll kind of keep it focused more on him, but uh, that's the case. When we started the House of Prayer, uh, Dad went to work, and if it was summertime, come on, George, you're going. And I remember going into an apartment building. We had, a, I'm thinking, 27, 28 units, uh, and they had the old lath plaster on the walls, if you know what I'm talking about, the plaster with the wood lath underneath it. And I took a hammer and busted that plaster off and then ripped those wood laths off and then shoveled it into with a big kind of farm shovel into a trash can. And then we hauled that stuff out to a dumpster. And uh, that was, that was I was 12 years old uh, doing those kinds of things. But uh, now I, I had a funny story I wanted to tell. And uh, now i got to see if it comes back to me. Well, I'll leave it because I think we have some calls waiting and we'll allow uh, the calls to come through. But I'll try to think of a few stories that uh, were fun, uh, some of them maybe more serious than others. I remember one that just hit my mind. Uh, again, I was probably about 10 years old. And we had in the little church in Mount Clemens, it had a tall ceiling in the lobby, and there were lamps that hung down on chains. And those, the bottom of those lamps were probably nine feet off the ground, at least eight feet off the ground. And you'd have to get up about 10 feet to change the bulbs. And Dad was always conscious about them kind of things. And we're in the vestibule, the church portion, having youth service. And uh, Dad never came around. I think we did that on like a Friday night or a Thursday night when nothing else was going on. And uh, what Dad had done is he had taken a piano bench, put a folding chair on top of the piano bench, put some books or something on top of the folding chair. And that's how he was getting up there to change the bulb in those lamps. And I remember we were inside and all we heard was this terrible crash. And I remember everyone stopped for a minute and then others went to go out. And I was up at the front row of the pew. And uh, when someone opened the double wood doors there, my dad was laying on the ground and someone said, it's George or pastor, probably they said. And I remember all of a sudden, wait a minute, that's my dad. I'm about 10. I start to run. And I had an aunt stop me about the fourth or fifth row, didn't want me to see my dad on the ground, not knowing what was going to be going on out there, trying to do the right thing for me. But I remember I got as mad as a firecracker at her. That's my dad. You leave me alone. And I uh, wanted to get to him. And, and thankfully, after he got, you know, the wind knocked off and got his composure back, he was okay. He was fine. But Jad was never, ever, ever afraid of work. And anyone that knows him in the House of Prayer Ministry will say he was probably one of the hardest working men ever met uh, in their lives. And so he, he wore his life on his sleeve and he was the real deal, which is what I appreciate about him the most. And with that said, do we have calls waiting? And my in we, there we go. Just got a whisper. We have a call waiting and we have lines open. I encourage you to call for prayer. Those of you that are listening that don't normally call, I appreciate we had Barbara, first time caller. I really appreciate you, Barbara. And those of you that don't normally call, and it can be nervous to call, and I encourage you, don't let it be nervous. If you're facing a situation, 
that you need God. God put this ministry together 51 years ago to be a place in the middle of the night that people could come together and bring their requests before God's throne. And he does answer and meet the prayers of his people. And we encourage you to call. Don't be nervous. Let God minister to you. And we'll take our next caller. Caller, good morning. You are on the air. Praise the Lord, and thank you for taking my call. Um, Amen. I, could I ask I you to turn you your radio down praying. just a little bit? It'll yes, make I, it so much easier for us. Go ahead. Yes, I did. I Go turned ahead. it down. I'm sorry about that. No and, worries. Go right ahead. I, I, I'm praying for your brother, Jim, as well as for about six or seven other people that I know that have cancer. Amen. And it's a terrible thing. It just seems to be so much of it, but the Lord is good. And I'd like to have an unspoken prayer request for myself and for some health issues that I'm going for. Amen. And I thank you for that wonderful story about you taking good care and wanting to see your dad. <laughs> he was, was, it was 10 years old that's family. all that was on my mind don't stop me but I, <laughs> I can just see a 10 year old being very angry and upset and unhappy about not seeing what went wrong with his dad that was beautiful thank, thank you, for you. That. appreciate it thanks for the kind words and uh, if you guys will put up with it uh, over time I will probably have a library of stories that I can share because there's a oh, lot of them and uh, so maybe over a period of time we can do that every once in a while uh, especially maybe for this month of June and uh, let's go before God in prayer and call her you join your faith and focus with us those Thank of you that you. pray let's lift up this caller there's an unspoken request that is important to her and not all requests have to be mentioned over the air. When we have detail, it kind of helps us get a picture that helps us. But those that are unspoken are precious. And the caller in God know what it is and would ask all that pray, let's go together with her and ask the Lord to move in her moment. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Father, praise your name. Thank you for what you do, Lord. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do in night vision. We stand, Lord, with this caller. This one, Lord, I stand with pride. I stand with joy. I stand, Lord, with love. I stand with gladness with her. And, Lord, I am with her. And your word says, wherever two or more are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst. And, Lord, we invite you right into the midst. And, Father, I lift her up in her request that you see, you know, and asking that you would intercede in her life, in her situation. Father, see it. Lord, see her, see the situation that she's dealing with, and ask that you would be with her. Ask that you would move in her life, reveal yourself to her, let her know that her God is with her asking that you would do something real in her life in regard to this request. Lord, don't let it go unanswered. Let her feel your power and your touch. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. And you're listening to Night Vision. Our on-the-air number is area code 313-838-838. 1035. Now we have lines open, and I know that there are individuals out there that you need to call. You should call. And we want you to call. It isn't about being uncomfortable, about being embarrassed. It's about getting to go before God. And we will, with joy and gladness and seriousness, Stand with you and go before God with you and ask him to meet your need. So call. I encourage you to do that. The on-the-air number is area code 313-838-1035.
And I am going to ask somebody to at least call so that we can pray for the water because I could be blessed by that if you would do that. And do we have calls waiting? Okay, well, I've just been told that we have no um, calls waiting, and that is unusual, so I'm going to encourage you to call. And let's see, I've got a few people. Well, that's interesting. I, and, and uh, Susan, I think this is you. And Susan, you never did get that app filled out. We're going to have to get some help to you on that eventually. But uh, Susan says, it was great joining you live for the prayer meeting tonight. And uh, Susan is watching, and we have a webcam in the uh, studio here. And uh, it's uh, showing some things on the screen. And also, Susan, I uh, am looking at the picture that you sent. Some of you may remember that some time ago, this would have been in the early spring, maybe around uh, March uh, time, I think. It would have been early March that uh, a cousin, let's see, my cousin's daughter, is a gymnast, and she was a good one. She was competing at state finals level. Uh, if any of you know what it means to compete at anything, uh, and it's was for the, uh, I'm going to say, is it says Michigan, and I can't tell if that's a Michigan State or U of M, but I think it's University of Michigan, but forgive me if I messed that up. Don't tell her uh, there. But when you are dealing with U of M, uh, type uh, state finals, you're a serious gymnast. And this gal, probably all of about 19 or 20 years old, went through and had an accident and broke both arms, both elbows, and both wrists. Now, I want you to think about that. I want you to think about all the things you did today that you couldn't have done if you had broke both arms, both elbows, and both wrists, you probably didn't cook your own meal. You probably didn't feed yourself. You probably couldn't go to the bathroom by yourself. There's a lot of things that your life would change if you would be there. And I'm looking at a picture of this girl. She's up in the stands of a of an auditorium, and in the floor of that auditorium is all the things you see for gymnasts, the sawhorses and the TVs and the mats for where they're doing the jumping and, and all those things behind back there. And there is her teammates around her, and she's got two casts on, and she's got them. They're from her her knuckles on your hand all the way up to the top of her shoulders. They're a nice color purple. She's got it wrapped and she is smiling unbelievably and her friends are with her and they're smiling and I don't know her name. Somebody could research that but what I want to do real quickly is I want us all to pray for this one and ask the Lord to continue to be with her and to bring her into complete recovery. Would you pray with me? Our Father, glory to your name, dear. Father, this is what you've called us to do, and we do it with joy. And Lord, we're bringing another one to you. Lord, we're bringing, Lord, this cousin's daughter, this young gal that we don't even know her name, but Lord, you know all about her. Her name is written in your book of life, and that I know. She knows you. Father, asking in Jesus' name that you'd be with this one, that Lord, all the recovery, all the surgery, all the healing, all the things that have been done, Lord, that you would supercharge it. That, Lord, you would add to it in a mighty way. 
that, Lord, you would bless her, bless her, bless her. In Jesus' name, Father, bless this one with complete healing, complete recovery. Lord, if she wants to compete, Lord, let her compete. If she wants to do anything more, Lord, give her bones, her joints, her confidence, her strength, her, Lord, personal power. Give her blessing in all of it to go on in full victory in her living. We ask this in Jesus' name, Father. Touch this one. Father, we lift her up before you. Touch this one. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. I want to thank you. You're listening to Night Vision. And we have all lines full right now. That's a blessing. Those of you that are waiting, please wait. Please don't give up. We're going to get to you as quickly as we can. And we're going to take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You are on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor George. This is Sister Paula. Hi, Sister Paula. I need a prayer for my nephew. He still has not been heard from, and it's been about three months now. And we're very concerned about him. Amen. And what's his first name? His name is Mark. Mark. Paula, we're going to pray. We're going to ask okay. God to just knock down the walls that are blocking this. And thank you. And could we partake of the water, too? Yes, thank you for that. Okay. I appreciate it. And we'll do both. Thank things. you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay. Our Father, we come to you in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayer. We thank you that you, Lord, ordain this work. And we stand with this caller, Sister Paula, and we lift up, Lord, her nephew. Father, something is amiss in his life. Something is totally upside down, wrong, and not good. And asking that you would see him, asking that you, Lord, would deal with him, asking, Lord, that you would have an encounter with him, be merciful to him. Lord, we're sure he's doing things, Lord, he doesn't deserve mercy, none of us do. But asking, Father, in Jesus' name, be merciful. Send your angels, Lord, to rescue him. Bring him, Lord, out of his moment into a moment of sobriety. And, Lord, put a conviction on him to call home. May he reconnect with his family just if it's only for a season. We're asking for more, but, Lord, meet this family's need. Bring him through his trouble. All the things the devil's doing to destroy him, we rebuke in Jesus' name. And Father, we ask that your blessing be upon him and bring him through and bring him, Lord, into contact. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And you're listening to Night Vision. We're going to take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Hi, George Jr. Uh, it's up. Uh... Chuck or Dan again. Sorry, I was calling back for the water, but uh, thank you for those stories. Um, I think that's great that uh, we can listen to that. And, um, but I, I wanted to, I really can emphasize with that, uh, or empathize with the gal with the broken. I broke both of my arms in sixth grade falling out of a tree house. And uh, I had the plaster cast up above my elbows. And, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it hurt worse uh, when they lowered them down below my elbow, you know, when I tried to bend. But uh, they had to do a little bit of surgery because I was the biggest kid in sixth grade. And when I had those casts on, everybody was kind of paying me back and throwing <laughs> stones at me. And I changed to this one kid that spit on me. I come around the corner and I fell. Anyway, they had to re-break my arm and I still have the scar from it. But, uh, you know, they... Uh, I got into drumming, the doctor said to my mother, if he doesn't exercise his wrist, he's going to be like a lobster, like, you know, uh, seized up. So I started playing drums, and now I can play drums. But the the thing that's bothering me now, and I, I pray for her that it doesn't bother her, is the arthritis. Because when you snap your own and radius like that, you know, later on, well, I can tell when it's going to rain and stuff, but uh, could have been worse, you know. Anyway, no, I, I think the Lord bless you if you got if you were able to get to drums. That's quite a that's quite yeah. an accomplishment. 
Well, I, I hit a branch both. halfway down that saved my life. You know, I, I, you know, I should, you know, if I wouldn't have, it was way up there. I could have broke my neck, as I say, it could have been worse. But yeah, the drums have been a blessing out of it. But thanks for the stories, Pastor. Those are awesome. My, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay. And Good night. If, thank you. And if there's a Chris listening from Ann Arbor, Chris, you, you became a partner. And thank you for that. Thank you so much for that. Father, ask that you bless this one. Let, Lord, the seed they show so be manifested, Lord, in your work in a true and mighty way. And, Lord, bless them for being obedient. Ask that you touch the hearts, Lord, of others to support, Lord, this one. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And we'll take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Oh, God bless you, Brother Bogle. May God continue to bless us all in night vision. In Jesus, in Jesus' name, our sovereign Lord and Savior, from whom all blessings flow. I'm very thankful tonight to hear your voice. I'm praying for the Lord be upon you that you continue to pray and minister to people. Um, this is Strength of Calling. I wanted to ask about the water, and also I need mercy and grace. God bless me from A to Z. Bless me, my blessings, and my blessings bless me. May the blood of Jesus be upon me and my blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And you know, can I tell you a little something? Um, I was a little struggling this weekend, and I just heard your father's voice, Pastor Bobo. Jesus speaking, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a blessing and an uh, uh, answer prayer for me because I was calling on the Lord that week. Calling on Jesus, just calling on Jesus. And then it finally clicked in my mind. Every day I was calling on Jesus, and every night Dr. Bogle would say, Jesus speaking. Mm-hmm. So I thank God for Jesus today and the gift of faith, the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness. Amen. Thank you for that. And with that, we're going to do the water at this time. Now, we have a couple callers waiting and okay. a couple lines open. Those of you that are waiting, you're in order in your queue, so don't uh, give up. Please hang in there. You're coming up in just a moment, but let me do the water. And those of you that do the water quickly, get your water bottle or your glass of water quickly. And those of you that haven't been a part of this, quickly I'm going to explain. Night vision is about ministering to people, and we believe as people that you have a natural side of your living, and you have a spiritual side of your living. And God wants you and me and all of us to be victorious in both sides of our living. We're not to be beat up and just hanging on until Jesus comes back. Oh, my. We're to be victorious, and that takes effort. We were put here for a purpose, and it's about God molding us and making us in your experience will either make you or break you, but your mind will have a lot to do with that. And so we want you to understand first, you are called into victory. Now, the water. The water represents to us the natural side of our living and all the things that God wants us to get ahead of. He wants us to be stewards, faithful, good stewards about things. You heard the, the one about the one talent, one steward was given five talents, one three and one one, and uh, the five made another five, the three made another three, and he said, well done, thou good and faithful servant, because of what they did. One just said, well, I just hit it in the ground and buried it, you gave it to me, and I knew you were a tough master, and you gave me one, here's your one back, I'm done. And he just said, whoa, And he told that guy, you'd have to read it, I don't want to paraphrase it, but he wasn't happy is the point. It has a lot to do with what we're supposed to do on the natural. Well, here's what we do. We drink water together in the second hour of the broadcast for a couple reasons. One, it's good to drink more water, and they tell us that we don't get enough water. It's one area of your life you're probably not hitting the mark on. And if you drink plenty of water, it makes for cleaner lungs, 
better kidneys, uh, eyesight better, skin softer, less headaches, less fatigue, and if you don't get enough water, it causes all of those problems. And we chose water to represent all the things on the natural side. It's just something that we, helps us identify and get our focus on thoughts. So when you're drinking a glass of water tomorrow and the next day and the next day, you might go, how am I doing in my checkbook? How am I doing on my natural side? Did I exercise at all today? And we want you all to get victorious. And we talk about water and used it as an example. It was the one chosen because it was one everyone could do. Didn't matter if you were 8 to 80. Didn't matter if you were in bed ridden or you were healthy as could be. It didn't matter how much money you had. We could all drink water. So we get a glass, we drink it together, because we all need more water, and I need some right now. And it also symbolizes to us all to think about what we need to do on our natural side to be more victorious. And we pray God will help us be more victorious. We're going to pray now. Father, we come to you as a family and as a community in Night Vision. We believe you brought us all together for a purpose. And one is to fellowship with you, and another is to fellowship with each other. And believe that you're calling us into more. You're calling us into more fullness. And, Lord, that we need to get ahead, Lord, of the areas of our life that we're stewards over and be good, faithful stewards. And asking as we drink this water that you would bless this, our body, with our water, but that you would, Lord, bless us that we can become better stewards in everything that's under, Lord, our responsibility, whatever it is that you've given us that we're to take and be responsible for, we ask that we would do a better job with it, with our checkbooks, with our bodies, with our families, with our jobs, with all things. We ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, bless us, we pray. Amen. I'm going to pause my microphone while I drink my water. I'm going to encourage you to do and join with me, and we'll be back in about 20 seconds. Right. Very good. And uh, I can't thank you all enough for how much that helps me an hour and a half into the program. And we're going to take our next call. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Hello? Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor. How are you? Thank you so well. Uh, Pastor, I'm uh, having some health issues, um, and I need prayer. I um, I have a, a, a nodule under my left jaw, and I've taken medication according to the specialist for a, the last 10 days. But I am to go in this coming Thursday, and they don't know if they'll have to do a biopsy. And um, I... Um, and believe in the Lord, whatever his will is for my life. But I'm I'm believing God that I'll come out okay. I really Amen. am. Uh, so I just need prayer. Um, and I thank you so much and good night. We're glad to pray with you. And all of you that pray, let's lift up this caller. Uh, it's one of these things where it can be concerning and it has to be dealt with. And yet I could tell by her spirit that she knows where she's grounded and she's not overly fearful about the future. She just wants to go for before God and reverently and sincerely ask him to be in her moment and to keep her safe. And let's ask the Lord to do that. Our Father, we come to you and we lift up this caller. Lord, we stand right beside her. And again, this is the one you've sent, Lord for us to be with. And Lord, we are together presenting her before you. Lord, you see what's going on in this body. You see what's happening, Lord, in this jaw area. And I'm asking for you to reach down, Father, from heaven with your hand and touch this one. Lord, put your hand upon this jaw 
Lord, let your might and your power move into this body. Father, asking in Jesus' name that you would touch this one, that you would bring her through everything that she's in the middle of to complete victory. Keep her safe. Let everything, Lord, be healed and brought to complete recovery. Let her get through this with victory. Show yourself, Lord, to her, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And you're listening to Night Vision, and we'll take our next call, and we have lines open. The on the air number is area code 313 I'm going to say it again. Area code 313-838-1035. And we'll take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Pastor, my name is Maggie, and uh, I haven't called in a while. I talked to your father, uh, I think it was December, and I went to the I went to the house field, and I had uh, pneumonia, cancer, and my kidneys all failed. So now I'm on dialysis. Keep going. Are you still there? Hello? Yes, I'm Hello? still here. Go right ahead. Yes. Uh, I talked to your father, um, I think it was December. Yes, my kidneys failed. I had pneumonia. And um, now I'm on, di- I- I'm on dialysis, and I got cancer. The doctor was giving me a high blood pressure pill that gives you cancer. And uh, um, so now, so I had cancer 18 years, it had been 18 years ago. But they gave me this pill, so I take the pill, they said the pill will give you cancer. And so then now they're taking money out of my check. I used to send your father when my mother was living. My mother passed away four years ago. And I used to send your father uh, $50 a month. I can't pay my bill. They're taking money out of my check. I can't do anything. And I've been so upset and so sick. (laughs) Amen. (laughs) Let me ask you a couple things. And I understand dialysis, and that's... That's a serious moment or matter in life in our body. Uh, the pneumonia you've recovered from, correct? Yes. Okay. And cancer, is it active now or do you have victory there? Um, um, well, anyway, last month I went to the cancer doctor and he had me to take a, take a test. But he still didn't say how it was, go- how it was going, but it, they treated it with pills. And I be having pain. They don't want to give me no pain medication or nothing. You know, I've been so sick. It's so upset. So upset. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want you to know that God loves you. And I just feel that he's, he's here for a moment just as this. And what's your first name, sister? Oh. Uh, Maggie Adams is my name. Maggie? Maggie, yes. Yeah. I'm glad that you called. And Maggie, I'm George, and I'm going to pray with you. And okay. I'm going to ask all of our prayer partners to pray with you. And we're going to lift you before God and ask him to move in your life. All right? Okay. Yes, Let's thank pray. you. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for this caller, and thank you for this moment. Father, we are standing with this one and presenting her before you. Lord, see Maggie. Lord, see Maggie. Lord, Maggie is in a moment in her life that it's beyond her. Lord, it's beyond her. She's not going to fix it. It's beyond her. If her God doesn't step in, there's nothing that's going to help her. Father, we lift this one up before you. We're standing with her and we're requesting God that you move in Maggie's life. Asking you to be merciful, asking you to be real, asking you to be alive, and asking you to act. 
asking, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would touch this one, that you'd bless her, Lord, where people weren't even expecting blessing, that you would, Lord, knock down sickness, open doors, do a restorative work, Lord, bring her into a better moment in her life in all areas. Father, bless Maggie. Father, bless Maggie, we ask in Jesus' name, show your might, bring her into a level of victory in her body and in her finances, Lord, in her overall well-being, and we ask that she would have an encounter with you. Let her walk with you deepen. Reveal yourself to her. Move in this daughter's life. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us the authority. Thank you. Amen. You're listening to Night Vision. The on the air number is area code 313-838-1035. And we'll take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. And we're just waiting. My engineer said they'll be there just one second. So we'll be patient and invite you to write night vision or visit our website. And we'll take our next caller. Caller, good morning. You're on the air. Hi, this is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hi, how are you? Very, very good tonight. Uh, I think A. And to Z. You want a prayer for A to Z? Yes. Well, we're glad to do that. And I want you to pray with us. And we're going to ask the Lord to be in your moment. All right? Okay. Our Father, we come, Lord, with this one. You see, Lord, this caller asking that you would touch her from A to Z. Touch her at the top of her head, touch her in her body, touch her, Lord, down to her feet. Be with Stacy in her physical being. Bless it. Lord, bless her in her mind and her thinking. Give her clarity and wisdom. Bless her, Lord, in her joy and in her spirit. May she be able to rejoice. Bless her, Lord, in her finances. May she be further ahead. May doors open. Open up the window of heaven, Lord, to give her things she doesn't have and wasn't expecting in financial, Lord, success. And, Lord, bless her in her walk with you. Let Stacy advance. Let her not stay where she's at. Let her not stay where she's at, Lord. Let her advance. Let her know how serious that, Lord, our walk with you is and how important it is. And let her put her focus on her walk with you, reveal to her things that she does not know. Show her things she hasn't seen. Take her to places she hasn't yet gone. Lord, use Stacy. Use her in your kingdom. Give her an open door. Give her opportunity to act, to bear fruit, to show works that prove and reveal that you're in her life. Bless her, Father, we're asking it from A to Z. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're listening to Night Vision. This is a call-in broadcast for prayer for people that are facing struggles in life. We like to say challenges that are bigger than we are, and there's times that we all face that. If you're truly facing a situation that is more than you, that you're not going to fix it on your own, it's beyond you, then we want to pray with you and go before God. If you know the Lord and you're not facing that type of a situation, but you're just floating in life, just floating, ah, yes, you're saved. Yeah, you're saved. Did you go to church this Sunday? Probably half of you are going, nope, nope, didn't. 
Did you read the word today? Probably 75% of you or more. Nope, I didn't. Did you read the word in the last week? Probably 60% of you or more. No, I didn't. Did you pray? And I'm not talking about what I read in the one book called an arrow prayer. You know, that's where we shoot one up real quick. Hey, Lord, help me with this. Hey, Lord, help me with this. Did you really sit down and talk to God with some sincerity and some reverence and opening up your heart with, you know, what's inside of it. We know ourselves. And did you just really seek his face to move and experience what he has? If the Lord's real, and I say that when you should know the answer, he is. If he wants a relationship with us, and we know that he does, then what kind of relationship does he want? What is a genuine walk with God look like? What? Where would you be if you were having all God wants you to have? If God had his way in your life, where would you be? Where would you be? Do you want to be where you're at? Or do you want to be where God wants you to be? Those of you that listen to this broadcast that don't need to call for prayer, the thing that we want to do is encourage you, nudge you, prod you, Go further. What's the Bible say? Draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh unto you. That sounds like instruction and a promise all in one verse. Instruction, draw nigh unto me. Promise, and I will draw nigh unto you. God has more, and I want the more. And I want the more for you and me and everyone that participate in this broadcast that the Lord will raise up a people through night vision that are not mediocre, lukewarm Christians, but we're growing. We're not perfect, that's for sure. Tonight's message, oh yes, you're going to like tonight's message. We're going to go into that in about 20 minutes. But tonight's message, God's people sin. What do you think of that, that title? God's people sin, which means we're not perfect. We, we have junk in our life. We have sin in our life. It's what we're born into, but God wants to clean us up. And that's my prayer for those of you that are long time, steady, ever ready listeners of Night Vision. If you're the same person today that you were at the beginning of May, you or me aren't on the right path. We've got to advance. That's what the, we're instructed to do. Again, Paul said, you've been drinking milk at a time you should be teachers. You should be eating meat. And let's get the genuine relationship God wants us to have. With that said, we're going to take calls. I'm going to give the number and we're going to go to station identification and have more of you call. Call us tonight. 313 313- Eight, three, you're listening to Night Vision. We have about 20 minutes left time for maybe a four or five calls on Norm. And we invite you to call, especially if you are needing prayer or if you have a testimony. And we had a thing tonight where you could join in and watch the broadcast in video. And we had uh, some success with that. A lot of people seem to have trouble, so we're probably going to try a new way tomorrow where you can, if you can get to a computer, be able to actually watch the broadcast instead of just listen. And for some people, I think that you'll enjoy it, and it just gets us the chance to be even a little bit closer. You can send me a chat message there. You can text And so we'll be, again, trying this, and testing is a better word than try, something we're testing to see how the Lord works with it. I invite you to call 313-838-1035, and we'll take our next caller. Caller, good morning. You're on the air. Go right ahead. Hello? Good morning. Yes, go right ahead. Oh, Good morning, um, Pastor George Bobo Jr. Um, God bless you, and may God bless us all. And thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I'm in just need for prayer from A through Z. And um, 
any um, special plans for um, my grandson's best friend. Um, he's a teenager, and he's just become born again, okay. and he's having all sorts of struggles right now, and I need God to keep it keep a hedge of protection around him, and I need a special prayer for my son, Carl. Um, I'm praying that God, um, I'm, I'm praying that God would keep a hedge of protection around him and bless him to soon come home. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Carl, are you still there? Yes, sir. What is your first name? Because you won the prayer for A to Z. What's your first name? My first name is Tanya. Tanya? Tanya, yes, sir. Okay, Tanya. Tanya, right? I want to get it correct. Yes, sir. Tanya. Right, Tanya, we're going to lift you up in prayer and Stefan and ask the Lord to be with both grandma and grandson. And my son, Carl, too. Sure. We'll put uh, Carl and the rest of the family, but I just wanted those special prayers for Carl and um, my grandson, Stefan, please. Sure. We're going to pray. Those of you that pray, <laughs> night vision is about people that are facing troubles and they need and want God and we present them before God and he hears our prayer pray with me for this grandmother her son and a daughter uh, grandson excuse me there's three generations that are represented here and let's pray our father we come to you in Jesus name and Lord we know that you love families and we know that you ordain families and, Lord, we stand with a grandmother who is calling, Lord, for prayer for her and her family. And, Lord, we first ask that you be with Grandma Tanya. She sounds like a young grandmother. And, Lord, she has the distinct honor of being a grandma. And ask, Lord, that you would bless her from A to Z. Lord, show blessing and favor on her. Lord, whether she deserves it or not, Lord, it isn't the question. It's, Lord, that do you answer prayer and hear prayer or not? And do you love us, Lord, or not? And we know those answers are yes. And do you want to bless people? We know those answers are yes. And, Lord, if there's anything in Grandma that she needs to get straightened out, cleaned out, ask that, Lord, you'd bless her in that area that you'd reveal to her what it is she needs to do in her life. But asking that you would bless her, Lord, from A to Z, that you'd bless, Lord, her mind, her body, her finances, her countenance, Lord, her joy, and most of all, Lord, her spirit. Lord, let her from A to Z, from the finances, Lord, to the relationships, be blessed by you. Do something special in her life. And we lift up her son, Carl. Ask, Father, you'd have an encounter with him and that you'd stir him and bring him into a relationship with you. Whatever Carl needs most, we ask you to meet him there. And we pray, Lord, for Stefan, a grandson. And, Lord, you love families. Grandmother praying for grandson. Lord, he's recently turned his life over to you. He's recently had an encounter with Jesus. He knows you, Jesus, as his Savior. Asking that you would be merciful to him, that you protect him, that you protect him, Jesus, from the harms of the enemy. Lord, that you would open doors for him, that he find opportunity to move into positive things in life. Father, asking that doors would open for Stefan. Lord, occupy his mind, his energies, and his time in things that are constructive. Give him doors and pray he has the strength and power to walk through them. Then bless him, we pray. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for this. We ask that you hear this prayer. Amen. You're listening to Night Vision. Our on-the-air number is area code 313-838-1035. And we're going to take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Bless you, Pastor, and your staff and your family. Thank you. I, I would like prayer. Uh, my name is Ann from A to Z. And, but tonight, uh, I 
visited my neighbor, and she was, is an alcoholic, and I'm just asking for healing for her and for understanding with her husband because they were bickering back and forth, and I'm asking that he have a greater understanding and to help her. Amen. Let's pray together, and uh, we're going to ask the Lord to bless both you and your neighbor and their situation. And let's pray. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name and thank you for your children. Thank you more, Lord, Lord, that you love us so much. We lift up this one and Father, she is asking for a touch from you. Lord, the A to Z prayer at night vision is a special prayer. It covers a lot. It's something, Lord, that is has meaning, Lord, to this people. And we know that you understand it, and it has meaning to you. And, Lord, what so many are asking in the A to Z prayer is really, Lord, to have, Lord, victory in their life, to have fulfillment in their life, to have something, a God do something to change their life. Lord, to take their life from a situation where it's at that seems sometimes ho-hum and, Lord, just dull and, Lord, not right and maybe not prosperous and not joyous and, Lord, not so many things out there. And, Lord, bless me. Could you do a better job in my life? Would you help me to do a better job? Lord, asking that you would see this one and. And her request, Lord, is that you bless her from A to Z. And Lord, with us again, that special request that you understand and asking that you reach down and touch Anne from A to Z. Shake up her life. Change her life. You know what she needs more, Lord, than any of us know. Meet her and touch her in those ways. And Lord, give her new. Give her something new. Give her, Lord, fresh encounters with you and fresh encounters with life that become fulfilling. Lord, give her fulfilling things, blessed things in her life. And we lift up this neighbor, this husband and wife. Lord, you see the turmoil in the home. You see, Lord, a home that probably isn't close to you. And you see, Lord, the situation between them, husband and wife, and we lift them up and ask, would you touch their home? Would you create an encounter with that couple that they could begin to understand and have a relationship with you? Lord, bring them into a higher place to where they're at. Be merciful to them. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. You're listening to Night Vision. We'll take our next call. Caller, go right ahead. You're on the air. Hello? Yes, go right ahead. Hi. Um, I'm, I have to admit I haven't been a good steward, and um, I'm feeling burdened financially and a little overwhelmed emotionally. And um, if you could pray for me, I would really, really appreciate it. Amen. Um, we're going to pray for both those things, and it's a it's a revelation that you have when you notice that. And it's interesting. We begin to realize and, and get tender when we face struggles, and it's funny when everything goes well, and you know it's just this is the way it was with the people in Israel, uh, Israelites back in the early days, and even with us. Then uh, when all's well, you know we don't worry too much, and. When things start to go the other direction, it becomes sobering, and we realize that, you know, things we need to do. And uh, I understand really what you've said, and there's so many of us that need to join in with what you said, that we need God's help to become better stewards and help us out of the messes we've made. And we're going to ask the Lord to do that. Be merciful for, to you and bring your bring you to a higher place. And you join your faith with me. Let's pray. Our Father, we come to you and thank you for this caller and thank you for night vision and bringing people together. Lord, we're standing with this daughter. 
we're standing right with her at the foot of your throne and we present her. Lord, have mercy on her. Let your love flow on her. Be compassionate. Show her that you love her. Father, this one has made misjudgments, mistakes that have begun to bind and cause problems. And Lord, it's so easy for us to do. Asking, Father, that you would forgive her, asking that you would let her learn something, and asking that you would be merciful to help her through her moment. Through the trouble that she faces, God, be with her. Be her guide, her shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, says your word. And Lord, be a shepherd to her and lead her, Lord, into wisdom and victorious living. Let her get through it out of all the mess, Lord, that's been made. Let her get out of it. Bring her through it. And ask, Father, that you would be with her in her spirit and emotions. That she realized that you said God called us to have a sound mind. That anything other than that is not what you want for us. And it's not what you planned. That you want, said, let the weak say, I am strong. Let her realize how much you want to be in her life and how far you want her bring her in all areas from her diet to her strength to her joy to her finance to her walk with you to her righteous living her ability to love her ability to forgive her ability to help others let her realize how much you're calling her and how much you want to make her into something precious bless her be with her, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Help her through this, we ask you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. You're listening to Night Vision, and we'll take our next call. Caller, go right ahead. Thank you so much. I, I also would like a prayer from A to Z, and I thank you for all the work you're doing, and I wish everybody well all over in, in the entire world and the earth itself. Also, I would like to ask for prayer regarding a woman I heard about that her son is in the hospital and he is wanting to get well, but her husband is not going to allow her son to return back when he gets well. I would like prayer for that man to change his attitude and for the son to get well and all the stress that the mother and everybody around them are going through. And I feel the same way has been happening to me pretty much my entire life. I'm 69. I look like 40. But I have been put through hell, beaten up physically and mentally, blamed for everything, accused of everything that I have not done. And there's a man who's in prison. He keeps calling and saying he's going to kill me and he's going to have me shot through the window. He said this to somebody else earlier today. And he's threatened her for the last three months. She's been in and out of the hospital. And she has a lot of other issues, so I ask for prayer for her and for everybody all over the world and for myself and for your family. And thank you. And for Pastor Bogle, thank you so much. Thank you. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name and ask that you would be with this one. Lord, you see her and you know her. And asking, Lord, that you would bless her. Lord, I ask you to bless her from A to Z, that you do something dramatic and real in her life, that you would, Lord, open doors for her, that you would, Lord, take her in her thinking, in her living, to a higher place. Take her, Lord, in her comfort and in her peace to a better place. And, Lord, take her in her walk with you into the place that you intended be with this one and we ask lord this family that has got turmoil we don't know all the details but you do and ask that you would be lord with this family and that you would lord be in their situation bless it we ask in jesus name amen 
Thank we you. have time for one last call, and then we're going to go into the message. God's people sin, number 5593, and we have to move quickly, but we'll take our next caller. Caller, go right ahead. You are on the air. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking my call. I will make this real short because of the time and the allotment of it. I have a praise report about my son. You prayed for him last week about his mental issues, and he is doing much, much better. A legion of angels is surrounding him. He is at a place where people show love, and he is doing fine. I would like a A to Z prayer for my nephew. He has a son that's graduating from high school, and the prom and festivities is going on. I would like for the Lord to bless all those things surrounding his son's uh, graduation and prom. I would also like the unspoken prayer request for me and my sister that we are dealing with together uh, issues. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry with our family and get make like for my daughter to understand the issues that her her brother has that I'm not showing more love for him and leaving her out. He just want me to just move in with her and both my life to be okay and just let my son go. I have to interrupt because we're out of time, but okay, I'm going to focus you. on your nephew and his son and thank the Lord for your son, what yes. he has done. That'll be the focus of tonight. God bless you. Our thank Father, you. praise your name. Father, oh, praise, praise your name for meeting this son. Lord, this son that you got in the middle of his moment last week. Lord, I believe he deals with autism and other things. And, Lord, that you were merciful when he was in a bad moment. Thank you he's got peace. Thank you, Lord, that you've given him peace. Lord, continue to bless him. And, Lord, we pray you'll be with this nephew, that you will bless him, Lord, and ask him that he has an encounter with you that's with the Lord who needs. Lift him up. And, Lord, for his young son that's just coming, Lord, from school age to young adult age, Lord, as he makes this transition, be with him. Ask that you would bless him, keep him safe. Lord, let him enjoy the celebration, but let him, Lord, stay in your righteousness. Keep him from all harm. Open doors that change his life for the better. In Jesus' name we ask this, Lord, be with this family. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You've been listening to Night Vision. I pray and ask, and it's my prayer to God and it's my request to you as I ask, that you'd support this work. We need your support. We were behind for the month of May, and it, it can't continue that way. And just asking, especially those of you that haven't given, those of you that do, thank you. I, I don't want people to do things that are beyond them. But if you haven't been a supporter, and you believe the Lord is using this ministry to help people and spread God's word, then ask you to support this with your seed. You're sowing into a good work. The ministry's been here for 51 years. We believe it's God's will. We stand and just ask that if he's tugging on your heart that you would respond and be obedient. You can support us online at our website at www.pastorbogle.com or you can write us at our mailing address. With that said, it's been a pleasure to be with you tonight. God bless you all. And we're going to go into the message, God's people sin, which I believe you'll find has a lot to do with you advancing your walk. And it's number 5593 if you'd like to order it. God bless. Have a good night. I want you to